Okay, here we are in Adobe Audition. It's the same clip. I'll play it for you. Very loud, there's the noise, okay? So again, what we wanna do is kind of select part of the noise here, and I'm gonna play it just to make sure I don't get any voices in here. Oop, looks like I got a little bit of a voice in here. We'll just shorten that a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, and then what I want to do is hit this tab here. Effects. Goes down. Go down to noise reduction. Alright. And we want to hit noise reduction again. And this is going to pop up. Your, your little, this window will pop up. Alright. This one we want to do. Again, we're going to capture the, the noise profile. This is going to give us... Um, uh, a profile, you know, a noise profile that we can use to clean up our audio. So let's hit capture. Okay. So we see our noise, noise profile here. Okay, and then basically what we want to do immediately afterwards is hit close. So I close it out. Then I'm going to, again, go to uh, edit. I'm going to go to, where is it? Select entire wave. Okay, the whole wave is selected. I'm going to hit noise reduction again, and you're going to see that our noise profile is still here. Okay, and uh, basically you hit click, you click preview. Okay, and you can move the slider. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. And I know there's different colors. I've seen white and above. And it'll give you different. So you can preview at different settings with this slider here. Well, I'm only waiting to hear some music, so I really want to hear the chime. If you're here, would you please ring the mm -hmm. chimes for us? Come on, chimes are spooky. You hear the humming in the background. That's our no, that's can. our EVP right there. The humming in the background. You just drop the temperature. And by degrees, messing so with the slider a little bit, this sounds pretty good right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll click the bypass. You can preview it without yeah, like the filter. Yeah. You'll get the idea here. And I know there's different colors. I've seen white and I've also seen blue. In a second, somebody's it calculates it. Now there it is with all the noise in it and everything. Uh, uncheck the bypass. Well, I'm really waiting to hear some music, so I really want to hear the chime. And then it's... If you're here, quiet. would you please ring the chime for us? So the again, and then all you have to do is click OK. It applies it to the whole wave. And uh, we can preview it. As you can tell, it's a lot cleaner. You have a lot more control over it than Audacity. Uh, again, this is Adobe Audition. Well, I'm really waiting to hear some music, so I really, really want to hear cleans the up chime. the audio very nicely. If you're here, would you please ring the this chime? This is a, an older program. And now what we're going to do is move on to um, Adobe Sound Booth. And you're going to see that uh, with Adobe Sound Booth, you get even more control over uh, how you clean up your audio. Okay. Uh, here we are in Adobe Sound Booth. This is uh, in the CS4 package. Uh, and again, I have the humming wave here. And just so you can hear it. Play. It's loud. It's obnoxious. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to capture, again, part of the noise profile. All right. And I'm gonna just take a sample here. Select it. All right. Uh, let me play it just to make sure I got just the... Alright, I think we got it right in this part here. We got it. Well, we did have it. Select it. Okay. Now we're going to do a capture noise print. Does it really fast. Okay, and then we're going to unselect everything. All right. Deselect. Uh, and let's go to the beginning. Now we're going to click on this button right here, noise. And this is under the cleanup audio. Um, so you're going to see under tasks, cleanup audio. And uh, so I'm going to click noise. All right, now you've got two sliders here. How aggressive you want the reduction to be. 
and how much do you want it reduced by so if you were to put like aggressive all the way up to 100 percent and um reduced by by zero nothing would happen even though uh, adobe sound booth is selecting frequencies to reduce uh you're reducing it by zero so you're not going to see anything or hear anything happen um Let's see here. You also have a preview button, a power button. You can toggle it on, toggle it off. And you have a use capture noise print. Okay. Um, let's see. So we want to do that. We want to use the capture noise print. So let's hit preview. We can tell already the noise has been um, reduced. Yeah, they're like lightning bugs. Yeah, yeah. quite a bit. And I know they're different colors. I've seen lightning bugs. So just make note of that for when you guys um, pictures. Well, I'm only waiting to hear some music, so I really want to hear the chime. You gotta be careful with this, because if you're here, would you please the ring voices the will or? have a tendency a to sound like they're underwater. So. You know you can. So you when you want and you're happy degrees. with it, click OK. And it updates it, okay? And you're going to see down here, this is the histogram view, okay? Uh, basically, this is going to give you a visual representation with colors on, you know, basically, you're going to, you're looking at the sound through colors, which is really cool. I really like this. Uh, and then you have the classic wave view here. So let's preview that, or let's listen to that, what we did. Yeah, they're like lightning bugs. Yeah. And it's cleaned and up quite a bit. Colors. I've seen lightning bugs. The uh, voices that retain their uh, their uh, their, uh, their timber. Well, I'm really waiting to hear some music, so I really want to hear the chimes. And you can really see down below here what people are saying. If you're here, would you please ring the chimes for us? Come on, chimes are spooky. Mm -hmm. You can hear the humming and the.